Let's take a look at another one of the demos. So I have a system number two demo that I'd like to go through. And this particular unit is gonna go through sizing the vent connector and vent system of a category one fan assisted uh, furnace. And of course, this would be a furnace that has a fan at the outlet that is not a category three. So this is just a, a fan that's assisting the appliance from getting the gases through the appliance and then it's still relying on the buoyancy of the gases to make its way in the into the vent system and, and on and out of the building so there are several appliances that are like this so let's take a look at the application so my first uh, couple of things that I noted here is I happen to have a uh, category one fan assisted appliance I happen to have an 80,000 B2 unit there is only two elbows, so that's going to be within the tables. I have a lateral of three feet. The rise is of not really a concern to me. Um, that's more just, um, you know, the rise essentially from here to here. Uh, the vent height is going to be 12 feet in vent height. And we are going to, of course, have a, a lateral in this particular case happens to be uh, three feet. All right, so, so far, everything looks like we're in pretty good shape. I don't see any issues. We are gonna be using a B-vent connector with, as well as a common vent. So this is gonna be considered as connecting the B-vent directly to the appliance is the way that this is gonna be set up. So let's take a look at it. 80,000 uh, with a three foot lateral and a 12 foot high vent system. So let's see what the code book says. So. The looking in the code book, and the I'm using the 2018 um, code book, National Fuel Gas Code Book, and I'm using Table 13.1A, and that is a single. That's going to be for a uh, a single category uh, one appliance. It is connected directly to the vent, as mentioned earlier. So that would mean the B vent goes right to that, and they you'll also notice on my vent heights and lateral. So on the, the vent height, they give me six, they give me eight, 10, and 15. Now, of course, I happen to have a vent system that is 12 feet for the height. So in my 12 foot high vent system, it doesn't fit any particular table. So we're going to probably err on the side of a 10 foot high system. So I, and, and if, see if I can get away without having to to do that. So I'm just gonna make a little note here that, so I'm gonna basically use the, um, the system that is 10 feet, I'm gonna try that. Um, and of course my image was a three foot lateral, again, and we're dealing with uh, three foot lateral and 80,000. So let's see where that fits into us. So I'll go back to my editor. And of course we have 10, and three foot lateral. So you'll notice none of these really fit. So I think what I'm gonna do is, is use the five foot roll, in this case right here. So the five foot roll, because I had a three, um, I know that I'm closer to the two, but if it's good at five, it's gonna be good at two. And um, in this, this particular case. So we're gonna try 10 and five and see if we can get away without having to do any type of interpolation. So. The other thing that I want to uh, identify is what that size of that connector was in this image. So the other thing that would be relative, um, relatively important here is in this particular case, we happen to have a four inch connector with 80,000. So let's see where that lies. So we're gonna go back to this and it identifies here that a four inch is the one that we are gonna to start to deal with. Now, you have to watch in the event that we would be able to downsize um, that we would have to follow some additional rules in the table to make sure that's possible. So those are things we'd have to verify. But let's start with this to begin with. So my 80,000, so I'm gonna go 10 and five and come on over here. Now, because that was a fan-assisted appliance, we're gonna be using the fan max and we're going to be using the fan minimum uh, columns 
So in this particular case, at a 10 and a 5, we are going to have, and I'm going to get the highlighter out here, and I'll go to this one. So at a 10 and a 5, our low number is 32,000, that you can see, 32,000, and the high number is going to be 113,000. Now, as long as those numbers are within our guides, we're going to be in great shape. Now, just to double check to see if there's any case or any chance that I could have downsized it, um, I'm just going to take a glance at the table. And if I wanted to have downsized it, I would have maybe been a three. I would still be looking at somewhere in this region over here. And 57, we were at 80. Um, it doesn't even pay to look at it. And if I would have gone up to a 15, as you can see, there's only 8,000 BTUs difference between those two. Um, it doesn't even apply. So for an 80,000 BTU system, this one is uh, a very simple, without a doubt, we are going to definitely be dealing with a four inch um, vent system and um, no interpolation needed, nothing at all concerning whatsoever. No chance even downside simply because the outlet of that um, appliance was ideal. So when we look at our application, I'm going to make a couple of notes and we're going to do this. So our common vent in this particular case is a beautiful four inch vent system. The connector is obviously also going to be four inches in this case. Um, this particular, um, what I was identifying here is also the common um, the common vent. That's what the vent diameter and dimensions would be. And as far as the D rating or anything like that, our vent height is all good. There's no problems there. We have, we don't have too many elbows. If I had more elbows, I would have to start derating the tables. So I see no reason at all. So I'm just going to make a really quick note here. No D rating required. And again, it's a reminder just to myself, just to identify that our application looks good, and this is um, how to properly size a Category 1 fan-assisted furnace that is using a B-Vent system connected directly to the appliance outlet. So that was the answer.